Hey, it's Lady Borgia, and welcome back to my channel. Guess what? It's finally Boxy Charm Unboxing. That's right. Haven't had a box since December because somebody snatched my box in or out in West Virginia. But I will get back to that in a second. I have no idea what's in this month's box. I've actually been busy enough that I didn't look, so it's a complete surprise to me what might even be in there. So that's pretty cool. I do have January's box on the way, and I'll give you the tea on that after we open the box because it's a little bit a uh, shady shice. I don't wanna say the word, but you get what I'm saying. This week's shout out for my boxy charm is to the Fizzy Factor. I will link him below. Check him out. So, boxy charm, let's go. All right, we have the card and I will pull it out. But right now, first thing I see are brushes. And I see three of them crown three piece brush trio. Let's see what we've got here. So we've got the Crown Pro Trio Brush Set, uh, retailing for $29.99, $30 US. Use this three-piece Pro Brush Trio to contour your face to perfection. The small brush can be used to conceal imperfections, highlight under the eyes. The medium brush can be used to sculpt the cheekbones and the perimeter of the face. Finally, the large powder brush can be used to set everything in place. There fi oh. Oh. This, eh, that's super dense. They're obviously synthetic. Um, I don't know, I gotta try them out and check them out and see. Honestly, the crown brush that they sent in December, I didn't think I was gonna like it. I thought the handle felt a little bit cheap, but guess what? It is my now favorite brush for removing bake and cleaning under the eye because it's just the right denseness for that. Sorry, it's a little bit dirty. I just used it. I actually clean my brushes after every use. I'm in a retentive bath. Oh my God, I just saw something in there. I see something that's cover effects. Okay, what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Should I read it first? Let's read it first. Cover Effect Shimmer Veil, retailing at $28. Oh, did I forget to tell you? It's the Galaxy Glow. Oh, I'm liking this. We're gonna be glowing. Yeah. Okay. These multi-use shimmery cream colors are crease-proof enough for the boldest eye looks and formulated with a weightless finish, a shimmering effect anywhere on the face. Suitable for all skin types. All right, let's bust into this box because y'all know after this unboxing tomorrow or the next day, I will be filming a look, <gasps> a look video and review. Ooh, she is pretty. I don't know. We're gonna find out in the next video exactly what she looks like on. You know I've gotta do a review and a look. I just, I can't help myself. So, Galaxy Glow, what do we got next? I'm just gonna pull it out. We have this that looks like it says Seraphine. I'm reading it backwards on the monitor. It is Seraphine Botanicals Sugar and Lemon Moisturizing Lip Buffer. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not the biggest on lip scrubs. I have my own lip scrubs I use at home and some various tips, tricks, and hacks that I'll be telling you later. But what the hell, let's see. It is the Sugar and Lemon Moisturizing Lip Bubber. Bubber? I, I can't make it through without saying something ridiculous. <laughs> okay, Sugar and Lemon Moisturizing Lip Buffer. Retailing at 24 smackaroos. A blend of soft sugar crystals within a rich nourishing salve base that gently exfoliates and buffs the lips, leaving behind smoother skin with a touch of refreshing lemon zest scent made with avocado as Seriously, what the hell's with my mouth? avocado, apricot, and jojoba oils, as well as shea and cocoa butter to help rejuvenate and hydrate, hydrate dry lips. Okay. 
I have all those oils, maybe you don't. I mix that stuff together all the time. Of course, I got sugar. I usually don't use it very often. I'm not a huge sugar person. Mmm, don't touch my espresso with sugar or my flat whites or my latte. Anyway, point being, I will try her out and I will let you know. So let's go on to the next thing. And it looks like we have a vintage, looks like an eyeliner to me. And it is, it is a black eyeliner. I was going to say highliner because I just used, I am addicted to Marc Jacobs highliners. They are the tight, tight. They're, they're the bomb. They are the bomb. I'm trying to not cuss on my channel. So vintage by Jessica Liebskind, smoky eye pencil in jet black. Okay, last time we got one for BoxyCharm, I think I used it twice. I'm sorry, I love, love, love my Marc Jacobs Blackler. Blacker, Blackler, I don't know, whatever it is, it is this. This is the bomb, I love her. Probably not ever gonna get it in a BoxyCharm, but it is worth it. Okay, anyway, back to her. Sorry to steal her moment. Let's see, do, 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 do. Vintage Cosmetics, Smoky Eye Pencil, $21 retail. All right, I'm gonna have to review that before I believe that. Anyway, Jessica's richly pigmented Smoky Eye Pencil delivers intense jet black definition, exclamation point. All righty then. <laughs> Creating pencil point precision or smudgy saturated color, the creamy cell formula glides on lids without tugging or pulling. All right, it's so creamy that I'm gonna take up that challenge, Jessica, and I'm gonna see if we can do a cut crease if you are creamy enough to blend out that way. All right. Anyway, next in the box, we did not. We have something sparkly. Ooh, holographic. You got my attention. What do we got here? What do we got here? All right, I'm going to open this first because I have no patience. Ooh, nice sleeve. She's pretty. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. Oh, Lord. That has got some pretty between the packaging. These are Naked Cosmetics Holographic Highlighter Collection. Oh, damn, I can see these definitely highlighter, eyeshadow. I could see drowning myself in that everywhere. So we gotta see how that works. I'm really excited to use that in the cover effects. Anyway, Naked Cosmetics, Holographic, let's hold her up because I'm liking how she looks. Naked Cosmetics Holographic Highlighter Palette retailing at $39.99 with six stunning holographic shades. Make sure my face is in there too. I may not be as cute. No, we're both decent cute. I love you already. God, I hope I love this because it is damn pretty. Okay. Anyway, six stunning holographic shades. This highlighting palette is essential for any makeup enthusiast. Each iridescent shade is perfect for highlighting and layering to transform any look into something enchanted. This looks freaking fantastic. I do own the Alchemist palette and I have the Moonchild highlighting palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills, but hell, give me more holograph. I will use it. So I am excited. That is BoxyCharm for February, at least my BoxyCharm. I'm, I'm not so big on the black pencil, but who knows? Maybe it's my next like favorite black pencil. I haven't tried any of it out. Like I said, didn't have a clue what the frig was in the box. And I am so excited to find out what's in my January box. Now I know about the eyeshadow palette. This is the next part. 
my January palette was supposed to arrive. I generally get my box between the 10th and the 12th of every month. I've always been early, probably because I'm right there in New York City. And somewhere in West Virginia, my box disappeared. I had a date of the 12th it was supposed to arrive. Suddenly I got an update. Your box is gonna be delayed, snowstorms, such and such. And then poof, it just sat there in West Virginia. Nothing, not moving. So I was patient, I waited, I contacted two weeks later and they said, I said, look, is my box lost? FedEx said, no, your box isn't lost. We just can't locate it. Really? The last I checked when you can't locate something, that's called lost. Yeah, I can't locate it. I can't locate my car keys. Well, they're freaking lost, right? Okay, anyway, sorry. My hair is looking like a peacock. Anyway, I contacted BoxyCharm because that box, my January box, not only had my January box products, but it had a replacement Pretty Vulgar lipstick from December because I was given a Pretty Vulgar lipstick that when I opened the cap, guess what? No wand. It was broken off and stuck in the other side. If I wanted to use it, get your tweezer man and extract it. It's just a little disconcerting when you get things broken so often from there. I mean, there's really not a need for it, but anyway, contacted them, told them not only did I not get my box, FedEx said for you to file a smart claim post, being that BoxyCharm would be reimbursed for the lost package. I conveyed this to BoxyCharm via email. BoxyCharm told me they would replace my box and replace my Pretty Vulgar lipstick on a one-time replacement deal. One-time replacement deal? Now, I thought they had a thing. It was a one-time replacement if your box was delivered and poof, your box disappeared. It was recorded as delivered and went away. Now, I could see that. If your box keeps showing up and your box keeps disappearing, well, you know what? Either something shady is going on or somebody's stealing your box. Maybe you should find a more secure place to put it. You know, I could see from the company's standpoint where that's kind of unfair. Technically, in that situation, they really don't even have to replace it. But in my situation, the carrier lost it. And as a person who has been involved in businesses and running businesses, you can't just tell a person, hey, I'm going to give you one replacement. And guess what? If it doesn't get there, you're out of luck. That is some shady stuff. And that is not cool, boxy charm. You know, you got to replace it. I paid for it. And if it didn't show up again and it was never in my possession, once again, it's on you because you're getting the replacement through FedEx through the smart post claim. So far, I'm not going to get into all the rest of it. So anyway, I will be filming my January boxy charm. What was in it or what is in it? And I will be filming a review and look, even though it's a month behind and after my February boxy charm. Tell me in the comments what you got this month, what you liked, what you liked about mine. Any questions? I hope you're having a wonderful day, wonderful evening. Don't forget, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. You are missing out if you don't. And don't forget, you've got to hit that notification bell because how are you going to see when I upload? I upload every Wednesday, but I'm going to be uploading even more. I've uploaded a couple times this week and I get ideas all the time. So I like to film them and send them out to you. So have a wonderful day. Love you all. Lady Borshak.